All right, guys, what's going on? This is my Need One Humidor. And yeah, I think I need to get a bigger humidor. So this is a little tour that I'm gonna go ahead and do. Um, as you can see, my humidor the rim don't mind the temperature I've had I had my uh, door open for a bit but I'm gonna show you what I got and see a little bit of organization I just ordered another uh, tray or two trays actually instead of these um, whatever they are uh, flat boards here but um let me go ahead and take you through my personal humidor and show you what I got. All right, so first little rack on my humidor tour is my bottom rack. And um, let me just show you what I have. So um, first cigar. Is one that I got from um, Sir Louis Cigars. It's the, it's a Pravada. It's a watch series. I don't know the full details of it. Um, again, a lot of these I buy and I don't know full details on them. Like I have, I have a bunch of these uh, unbanded. So I'm gonna put these at the very top. You don't need to see unbanded ones. Uh, this one is the Yellow Rose from Crown Heads. Um, right there yellow road yellow rose not road yellow rose kind of um this is the first opus x that i actually bought and it's the um churchill i don't know like the, the full on name of it um another one that i I do like the H. Upman. I'm an H. Upman uh, fan. fan boy, not that one. I like the Banker. This is the Banker Day Trader. I have not tried yet. Um, another one is the El Rabo de, del Toro, which is, um, I think it's by Sash Sashi Bobby, I think. Uh, again, I got that at Sir Louis Cigars. Uh, this one is from my friend um, Felipe at Cigar Side Chats. This is the J. London Lavender. Uh, let's see what else I got here. I have this one. I also got it Sir Louis. I just don't know what it's called. So if you guys know which one this one is, it looks like it has malls in here, which is the I think I'm saying that right, but that's the Thor's hammer. Um, what else do I have here? I have a couple of these that are like unbanded and don't have a name to them. They're like mystery cigars, but I mean, the wrapper is pretty good on them. All right, so the next one, uh, let's see what I have here. I have the Rocky Patel uh, Quarter Century. So let's, um, Good cigar, really good stick. Uh, I just recently got this one. This is from Adventura. This is the La Llorona. Let me set the space here. Next, I have from um, Black Label Trading. This is the uh, Bishop's Head uh, or Bishop's. Then black label trading. Here I have again another cigar that I got from Sir Louis Cigars on the uh, I wouldn't say raffle pack, but they're like those uh, auction packs. This is the 101 Matt Booth it's in a Lancero. This is a cool looking cigar. Um, Roger from Working Man Cigars did say that this is a really good cigar, so yeah. looking forward for that. Looking forward to that one. Um, this one is one that 
I won the actual box in the, in the raffle from, from um, Wolf Pack Cigar Club, um, La Bacteria Aragon, and um, it was a raffle, and I ended up winning a box of these, and now I think I'm only down to like two. Um, I enjoyed them, and I have been giving them to, to, to some of the other uh, content creators to see how they like it, and uh, I mean, I don't think I would pay the, the, the price you know the actual retail price for it but to get it to get it part of a pack or a, a box for free why not uh let's see what i have here i have another uh black label bishops blend which is in a bigger metal i didn't even know i had two of them anyways um another one is The Baccarat. Um, I've had this one for a while. I haven't smoked one yet. Uh, I guess I, this is like one of the ones when I started buying my first couple cigars. I don't know what actual blend. I think it's, it has to be like Connecticut. It's a really light cigar. It's a Rothschild. I don't know. But it's okay. That, so I've had this one for like two, three years in my camera, so it's a couple years age um, this is one that I got from um, cigar bid but guys need to really be aware of cigar bid because this one was badly damaged uh, I'm still gonna try to maybe glue it up a little bit maybe put, put a piece of leaf on it it's got that tear right there, and it's got that little tear right there. So, I'll put this over here. I might start stacking, so hopefully, I don't, don't mind. Here, I have a couple of these um, tabernacles. They're the small, um, small Latola. Um, this is a very good cigar. Had it recently. Very strong, but surprisingly very tasty. Um, I really enjoyed it. And again, I have a couple of these. Um, speaking of the foundation cigars, I did pick up the Metapa. This is the Maduro. Uh, Hopefully, I'll just smoke that soon. Uh, this one was given to me by Felipe from Cigar Side Chats. This is the uh, EP Car Carillo Pledge. And I saw that he just got another one in, another one in his, uh, one of his recent bombs. This one is from Sir Louis, and again, you know, take a walk. That's why I got the cigar. It's the, uh, the pussy magnet. It reminds me of a uh, Borat. We have pussy magnet. All right. So next one we have. This one also came in a um, a Sir Louis pack. It's a Padron. It's um, I don't know. I don't know which. I did it like the 1000 or 2000 because it's a smaller Vitola. This is the Padron. Roger from Cigar. Sorry, Roger from Working Man Cigars did give me the bigger one. I think it's in my other, one of the other boxes. So we'll get to that one in a bit. Uh, here we have Cigar City Brewing. So um, Punch created this cigar for a beer company that I've. I've I love their beers, and it's uh, Cigar City Brewing. They're out of Florida, and uh, since I'm a big fan of those beers, I had to get the cigar. And I got picked up this cigar from a um, Black Friday deal with uh, Pravada Cigars. La Fabrica, so this is La Fabrica, Mori Soñando. HBC 500, this is the anniversary. And this is from 2019. I don't know if you can see that on the. Uh, it's from 2 15, 2019. So this one's already already going on 
five years of age. So, I mean, you can tell the cello is, is a little uh, dark. Here we have um, another Sinistro cigar or Sinistro. It's Mr. White. Uh, Sinistro, the last barbarian uh, pre release. Uh, these cigars all here were picked up from the Pravada um, Black Friday deal along with these. This is Dissident Cigars. This is the um, Tirade. And this is the Dissident Cigars Soapbox. And uh, I've been dying to try those cigars from that company. Uh, so hopefully I get a chance too soon. This is a... Um, I don't think I picked this one up. This one I, I, I bought at a uh, Cigars International, I think, with Killer B. This one a friend of mine gave me, and I don't know what, I don't know if this is Quorum or, or what cigar this is. Maybe someone in the chat might know, or in the, in the, someone watching this video might know. And then uh, another one from La Fabrica Sinistro. This is the um, Thickest Thieves. I, I like this one because it has the Italian logo on it. And here on, these two cigars were from uh, La Tabacleria Aragon. These are uh, budget sticks, but they're very good. I had the Habano, the Habano was good. These are actually really good sticks and they're very inexpensive. Worth worth it, 100%. They had the, um, I'm a big fan of the diesel whiskey, um, a bourbon barrel aged whiskey roll. So this is that one. Got it back, Bradley, Metalist. And I've had this one before in a Swan Bartolo. Um, this is a very good Connecticut. Very light, very flavorful. Um, I can't wait to smoke it in this one. I've had this one in my humidor. I want to say for a good two years, two and a half maybe. So this is going to be really good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a couple cracks of the, the foot, but I don't see it, it being an issue. I've honestly smoked worse. Um, this is another one that I had picked up a while back in the five pack. I've already smoked a couple of these and it's the Gilberto Oliva, the Nicaragua Reserve. Um, very good classic cigar. I mean, this is like, uh, this is definitely a good legacy cigar to have on hand. I mean, this is um, very good quality. I, 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 I truly enjoy it. And then the last cigar I have here is one that I'm, I'm extremely excited to try. And it's from um, Dapper Cigars. And it's called, the, it's from the Holy Smokes. So this is like a, a church group that talk about the Bible and they, um, they smoke cigars. And this is called the Genesis. And if you see it's a Figurado, it's a box press Figurado. So this is a pretty good little sticker. And that concludes my first uh, tray. And right now I'll come back with the second, with the second tray. All right, so now I'm going with uh, box number two. So this is a cigar that was given to me by, um, again, Cigar Side Chat, Felipe. This is the Riojas Rojas Barbacoa, the street tacos. That's why I was confusing. This one is very good. I've had this one and the carnitas and this one, Barbacoa is my favorite. This is the uh, Dapper, um, La Catrina, uh, or OG, this is the, bl the black band. It's the um, Attic series. It looks pretty cool. It's a, uh, it's a good test stick. Again, this has also been in my humidor for about a year now, so it's got a little bit of an age to it. Not a lot. This is a Placencia 146 Cosecha Dapper Cigar. This is the Desolado. And uh, this one was from um, my good buddy, um, Eric from the Smoke One, if you have one. This is the Knuckle Sandwich. This is the uh, Chef's Edition. I think this is the Habano, or I think. This is a cool looking stick. It's a, it's a cool like, Figurado, Perfecto, yeah, Figurado, see, Figurado. This is the Adventura, I think 
think this is the King's Return. Um, I've seen a lot of reviews on this cigar. I think my good buddy uh, Felipe smoked it and said it was a really good stick. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this about this cigar. And again, this is uh, um, from a bomb from Smoke One. If you have one, Eric. So thank you so much, buddy. But uh, yeah, look at this stick. This is such an awesome looking stick. Don Carlos Double Robusto and um, I don't remember who gave me this one uh, thank you again I will try to see if I can remember and post it on the uh, on the screen right now um, I want to say that's also a smoke one if you have one that's uh, uh, Eric I think he also gave me this one the four kicks by Crown Heads Yeah, I want to say that, that has to be Eric. I see a lot of the, the, the cigars coming up. Um, this one is the My Father Fonseca. And sorry, my my neighbor is driving in with her loud vehicle. This is another Tabernacle Maduro, uh, or black, whatever it is, whatever you call it. But this is a different size. This is a bigger size. Uh, the little ones kicked my ass. Not gonna lie, they're strong. But this one. Uh, I'm gonna have to smoke it slowly, or just as long as I smoke it with some food or something. Um, this one is the Oliva Siri V. Uh, I keep wanting to say Melania. Oh, this, you, can tell, you can tell this one's ready to smoke. Um, and this is in that that uh, that cool looking shape. A lot of people say it's a very good cigar. Uh, I have had the, the Melanias, I've had the V series, and they're really good. I want to see maybe this by Tola. This is going to make it make any difference. But this is a cool thing. This is again um, Eric from Smoking If You Have One. Sorry. Another one from Eric Smoking If You Have One. The Trinidad Santiago. This is the um, it's a very good looking stick. This is an awesome stick. This is the uh, Aganorsa Guardian of the farm the service i've had this one before in a smaller vitola so this is a, a bigger vitola this is actually gonna, this is a very good stick. this is one of my favorite sticks from 2023 uh, i didn't put out a list so I, don't, I don't feel like i smoked enough to, to to support a list but this one was one of my favorites here's the cigar that i was talking about earlier that roger from working man cigars got me this is the padron this is the 3000 series so this is the, the big daddy here. This is a big old cigar. I'm gonna put this top. Uh, this is the one that I, I picked up. Uh, this is the uh, Azuli Oro or Golden uh, Blue and Gold. This is the Crown Heads. Uh, and I haven't tried this cigar yet. Hopefully it's a good one. I picked this one up in a, one of those. Um, Mystery four packs. This is the Diaz de Gloria, the Glory Days. Again, that's those same mystery four packs. The Central Panza Extra Forte. This is one that I picked up. It's the uh, LCA from Pravada. This is the Focaccia. So, so this is the pizza. And then you're supposed to have the other ones. I don't have those. I just got this one. These are cigars that I got from being a member of the Pravada Cigar Club. This is for November, I think, because this is part of like the, uh, what do you call it, the Macy's Parade type thing. This is the Felix. This is the Popeyes. Popeye something, I don't know what it is. And the Mighty Mouse. Here he comes to save the day. Anyways, sorry. All right, let's, let's start stacking. If I don't mind, I don't want to have to clear out everything. Another one that I picked up, I've heard a lot of things about it. Some people hate it, some people don't. Some people love it. It's the uh, Johnny Tobacco Nut. And this is and my favorite, but total 660. So this is the big old, big old boy. This is the Room 101 uh, Murder, Murder Hornet. This 
this one was given to me by my friend Roger. It works man cigars. This is the El Le Patissier. I think that's how you pronounce it. Crown heads. It's a good looking stick. I've heard a lot of good things about that stick. This is the blue cheese. It's a hundred dollar bill. Uh, band thingy, which I picked up again for the Black Friday deal. This, again, every time I see an Opus X, I pick one up. I don't know which series this one is. This is the Double Robusto Opus X 1. Double Robusto 1. I don't know what this means, but it's got the, the cedar still on, 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 the, on it. Another Probata cigar. This is the Robot Fumador version 2. This one I picked up at a local B&M. This is part of the, their LCA um, cigar. Here um, in San Antonio, we have a, a B&M called Finks, and this is one of their their uh, blends. And uh, I haven't tried it yet. I picked one up just to try it out. It had it was a good color, good, good looking stick, and um, very inexpensive. So I picked. Up here I have another tabernacle in a different Vitola, smaller, uh, like, looks like a 5x43 or something like that, something very thin. We have a West Tampa cigar, or West Tampa cigar, yeah, West Tampa cigars, the boliche. This is the acid opulence. Again, this is just like a cigar I picked up and I don't even know where. I don't know if it's a sweet cigar or whatever. Well, it's an acid, so more than likely it's either it's definitely infused. And this one is the the Catherine or the the, the Don Juan. This is the the, the the company. It's the Don Juan. And this one I picked up with the Black Friday um, Provada Club uh, special. So that's the second little tree. And let's move on to the third one. All right, so for tray number three, do a quick. And I'm sure the first thing y'all noticed, because, well, you can't unsee this real quick, but it's a. Um, SP 1014 in um, the black. This was in a uh, in one of the raffle packs from um, Hunter at, at um, Sir Louis Cigars. With that, in a different auction pack, was the SP Red, the SP 1014 Red Love and Passion. These I can't wait for. This is the No Entiendo. This is the um, La Fabrica. It's a Sinistro. Black label trading company, uh, Santa Muerte Barrio Santo. This cigar was given to me by a gentleman that I met at a um, at my local B&M. What's that cigar lounge? And um, strike up a conversation with him. We're talking for, you know, a good hour and a half, two hours. And then he mentions that his favorite cigar, and it's the most cigar he's been smoking for a long time, is the Opus X. And I'm like, to be honest, at the time, I had never had one. So I was like, you know what? I told him, hey, I've never had one, but one day when I receive one, I will buy one. And um, I had never really seen him. So he, the man just gets up, walks off, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe I pissed him off by saying that. Well, he goes into his personal locker in the lounge and gets me a Opus X Shark, which is his favorite Vitola. And I, was, I offered to, to to pay him for it. And he was he was like, no, I want you to try it. Let it age in your, in your humidor for a while. Um, he suggested it at a, on a special occasion. So I'm going to smoke this I was trying to smoke this for when the Cowboys won the championship 
But if I wait for that, the cigar might go bad on me. Anyways, next, this is a cigar that I got from one of those uh, Tinderbox packs. This is the Crown Heads CHC um, 13, Reserve 13. This is a Pravada from the Pravada uh, Cigar Club. This is the um, Licorice. This is from Sir Louis Cigars. This is the Uncle Louis, but I think it's the Zoshi Bobby, and then you can tell it has that heart. This one is the Ambrosia, and I want to say it's by is it Drew States. I don't know if it's the Sweden or not, but this is from the um, Black Friday pack from um, Pravada. Uh, this one is the Black Label Trading Company. Uh, what is the last last rights Viaticum? This is also, this is Black Work Studios. This is the s &R. And it's a pretty cool barber pole. Haven't had that one yet. This one I bought by accident. It, well, I usually, whenever I see a box of cigars behind a, a register, you know that these guys are trying to save them for friends or, or, or you know, specific people. And I ask, hey, can I buy that one? And they're, they're like, yeah, sure. And uh, I didn't even know about this whole bit by total of the shark. This is the Don Carlos shark. And it is a, like a pretty good sized box press. And it's the, again, it's the eye of a shark. So, can't wait for that one as well. This is from Pravada. This is from the uh, Do Not Buy um, feature. And they give you random cigar. This is a Pravada, uh, Pravada and uh, Paul Stulak, um, Stulak um, collaboration. In fact, it's called La Colabor Colaboración, which is the collaboration. I can say big Spanish words. Uh, the next one is by Sinistro, or Sinistro, and it's the honor amongst thieves. You can tell it's got the, the handshake, and it looks like a snake. Yeah, you can see the snake. See if you can, it'll focus. The snake and then the handshake. Then we have another Pravada cigar from the, uh, I guess this is the October pack. This is the uh, Halloween candy. Let's see what else we got. This was from, this one I bought at, 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 at my local bean. Well, actually, I say local bean, but it's uh, uh, Cigars International that we have here in San Antonio. So this is a Black Friday 2022 edition. I was looking for the 2023, and for some reason, all they had was 2022s. And I'm not going to say no to it, right? Next is a cigar that um, Eric from Smoke One, if you have one, got uh, gave me one of the, uh, the bombs. The, well, that only bomb he ever gave me. It's the... Uh, the T. Don't understand why the, the T has the keys on it, but I'm sure there's more to this story. Uh, I'm just gonna. This is a cigar that I bought through the uh, Pravada pack. This is the the block it's by Dissident, which uh, is part of the Oveja Negra, which also has uh, Black Label Trading and Black Orc Studios. And this is the, the block. Dissident. To fit them in where I can. This one was also given to me by Eric from Smoke One. If you have one, this is the Brulee Blue. And this is like a long bit taller. This is, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what my toll is, but this is a bigger one. I love this cigar. Um, I, 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 I've always bought, I always buy this one and I, I had already finished them and he sent me one, so I can't wait to smoke this one again. Um, one of those ones from the um, Tinder pack, Tinder box pack, whatever. This is the uh, La Patina or Patina Sumatra. We got another dissident cigar. This one's called the Rant. It's the Norteño. This is from Herrera Esteli. 
and it's the um, what's it called again? Little, uh, I don't even know what kind of uh, bird this is, but it's a cool little scar. And it's a beautiful box press, which I've been on a box press uh, uh, kick lately. This is the Aging Room Nicaragua, also from Roger from Working Man Cigars. Um, this one is from um, Warfighters. This is a Cuban sandwich and it's a dumpster fire. So this uh, particular cigar, uh, you know what a Cuban sandwich is, is just take the pieces of the cigars they make. And this was supposed to release in 2020 around, around that time when you know the whole world was a dumpster fire and which is why they created this cigar and it smokes amazing so definite definite must check out next we have what do we have we have dapper cigars we have the siempre siempre rosado rosado this one is um the cigar that's named after me again this is the el borracho and a beautiful box press. All right, so this is the El Buense, uh Wise Man Blue. This is also another foundation cigar. Put that one right here. This is the, one of the RS uh, 88s from uh, Sanj Patel. And I was really afraid about mixing them up since it doesn't have a band, but Come to realize the, well, the way you can tell that it's, it's a RS88 is you can't see on, on the because of the cello, but the, the, the foot is covered. And this is one that uh, Roger from Working Man Cigars gave me. It was the RS88. I want to say it's the Habano, or yeah, I think it's the Habano. This is the Last Rites, and this is the uh, Black Work Studios. Can be. This is the um, the Connecticut El Burro by uh, Sinistro. And you can tell it's a cooking uh, burro with the uh, I don't know if it's a cigar or a cigarette. Hopefully it's a cigar, right? Then we have um, the Viaje Full Moon. And actually, I heard some good things about the cigar. Uh, it was a Halloween release. I think it's a Halloween release. That has to be right. Full moon. Um, I don't need some shot. It's a, it's a, it's a thick, thick cigar. Okay. Next, we have Las Calaveras. Uh, this is the L 2023 by Crown Heads. And this one, I even forgot I had it. Sometimes I, I look at a cigar and I buy it or order it or whatever and I forget. Uh, next, we have another Sinestro El Burro. This is the Corojo. Or Co I, I, I rolled my R there, but it's Corojo. Um, another Dapper Cigar. This is the Des Valido. And this is uh, definitely a Churchill. Or Double Corona. Corona Doble, they call it. This is a cigar given to me by Roger from Working Man Cigars. This is the Christoph the Ligero Maduro. This is the Glitch Habano. And this is Black uh, Blackbird. This is the Quesada Oktoberfest. I was a huge fan of the 2022, which I actually just recently smoked. And uh, I had to pick this one up. And hopefully by October this year, I'll smoke this one. This is the, um, I don't know, most of y'all know who Jeremy Sears is. Uh, he does a lot of like the man shit Mondays, and he's got like, like a couple YouTube channels. And this is his, I think this is the, the Habano. But uh, picked it up on a good deal, can pass it up. Can't wait to try it. I don't know who or what this cigar is 
Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. Um, it's a watch. I think I, I, I researched it one time, but then I forgot. It's been so long. I should write these down. Also, just to know that I still have them. This is a, a Black Label a Bishop's Blend, but this is the red. So, I'm excited about this one as well. This one is the Montenegro Toro Especial Serie F. I don't know where I picked this up or who gave it to me, but it looks like a cool cigar. The band is actually like a, like a lion or something. This is the Foundation High Clary. This is a High Clary Castle. I think I'm saying that right. This is the uh, Ferio Tego um, Suma. And this was from um, Eric. Smoke one if you have one. another Oliva Siri V and I want to say this one was given to me by Roger and the other one and the other the other by Tolo was from Eric there's another Sinistro this is the what is the Mr. Black yeah Mr. Black it's called Robot Fumador and what I like, what I really do like about uh, Pravada cigars is a lot of their cigars are well aged. You can tell by the cellos are like brown. But speaking of brown cellos, this one was given to me by Roger from Working Man Cigars. And this is the, like, I guess everyone's trying to get this cigar. And this is amazing that he gave me one. This is the Amazon Basin Extra Añejo. Tell the agent on, on that on the cello. So this is an amazing cigar. Like I, everyone, so many people have the cigar in their top, whatever five, top ten, top one, top three. Uh, so I really can't wait to try this one. And that is it for the third tray. Now we move on to the last tray. All right. So the final tray on my humidor tour. I'm going to put this on here right now. We're going to do the, what are the bigger cigars first. This is the Opito. This is from Provada Cigar Club. This is from their December pack, I think. This is the My Father, Le Bijou. This is from uh, Cigar Side Chats, Felipe. Uh, his, uh, I guess, giveaway. And he hit, I think, 100 followers or 200 followers. This is a cigar I got from my fellow uh, OPEC Cigar Club member. I did do a trade with the uh, Monte Cristo in return for one of these. Um, they won the box for the Caldwell Band Mofo, and I won the box for the Monte Cristo. So we did a trade. Uh, I'm a huge Cal Caldwell fan as well. So um, this one is a Provado. This is from uh, October. This is the Candy corn. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, trying to get all the circular cigars first. This one is from Sir Louis Cigars. Street meat. If you know, you know, you know. Anyways, something like that. Let's see. Here we have the Mark Twain Riverboat. Uh, Mark Twain has, they make really good uh, budget cigars, and this is a barber pole, so I had to try that one out. This, these, sticking with the barber pole theme, these were from a um, auction pack from Sir Louis Cigars. These are the Clown, and this is the Maduro Habano, double Maduro, and then the Candela, and I think the, the Connecticut. Uh, here, Here. 
So here we have a um, cigar that, that I bought. It's the Añejo by uh, Arturo Fuente. And I want to say this is the one that Roger gave me, or vice versa, this is the one that Roger gave me, and it's the one that I bought. One of the two, either way, still uh, an amazing thing that, you know, people share sticks and stuff, so definitely gonna smoke one of these soon. Um, this is the Dapper, this is the La Madrina shade, in a bellicoso shape. This is the Obatala from Aragon Factory. Um, they're also the ones who run the Wolf Pack Cigar Club that I'm a member of. Um, these also were from a uh, auction pack from Sir Louis Cigars. This is, this is the, the Katrina and the Katrina. Uh, they're both Katrinas, right? There. This is the Maduro and the Coroco. They don't have any other course to them. Um, these are Foundation Cigars Wise Man and Wei Wednesday. These are the red. I think these are the Maduros. Then um, from more from Sir Louis, this is the, the Shoshi Bobby. This is the gray face. And this is the, the, the black one. I'm gonna put this little one inside here. So. He's not gonna go for it. He's probably gonna get some of this soon. This one was from a mystery four pack from Tinderbox. This is the Frasia. Beautiful box press. This is the Holy Smoke from um, Dapper. This is the Holy Smoke Genesis in the Vicarado box press. Um, this is the New World by A.J. Fernandez. This was given to me in a, uh, a Secret Santa pack from our, our club. This is the My Father Cigars. This is the, the Judge, the one that I bought. Um, this one is again from another uh, auction pack from Sir Louis Cigars. This is the, the Maverick by Jake White. Of course, another Sir Louis Cigar, the Pussy Magnet, another one. Um, this one was from Roger from Working Man Cigars. This is the Sobre Mesa by Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. And this is the 752, so this is a brand Imperial Imperialis. I should put that one at the bottom. But this one is a Samurai. Um, it's a beautiful box press. I don't know too much about the cigar, but this is also from a uh, Sacred Santa pack from the uh, Cigar Club. And this one was from an auction. From Sir Louis Cigars, I just don't know the brand. I don't know if any of y'all know it. Please let me know. It looks like it looks like a Lampert type style, but I'm not sure. And last, but certainly not least, it's the Gurkha Hartville and Co. Bourbon. This is bur bourbon, bourbon aged, bourbon barrel aged cigar. It's in one of these like uh, waxed tubos. And um, haven't smoked this yet. It's been a while. I've had it for a while. So uh, hopefully it's still good. And then another one, it's just a regular uh, mystery stick, mystery uh, Maduro. But I mean, I wish you could, uh, the seller doesn't do this, this cigar justice. It's got a lot of little oil beads. It is a beautiful cigar. All right, guys, so with that, I end my humidor tour for 2024. And uh, let's see what this year brings. And our tour has come to an end.